No, but there may be a position in between. They won't they won't do it deliberately and calmly and and more smoothly by just cutting back. But if if they allow it to continue, there will be a major crisis. Something will have to happen. But it's not because they want to, but because they'll have to. They may save the dollar in 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 name, but they'll have to change the the monetary policy. They'll have to say, well. Uh, you know, in, in picking up the pieces, but I don't think they're going, it's going to happen without a, a, a much greater financial crisis, which I think is going to come, uh, in, you know, in the next several years. Nobody knows exactly when the panic hits, uh, and, and everybody panics and, and dumps dollars, but, uh, then not only will the Fed, uh, uh, raise interest rates, but the market will raise interest rates, uh, but, you know, in 19, um, 89, or, yeah, no, in the early 1980s and 79, 80, when Volcker came in, he took interest rates up to 21%. And got a lot of heat for it, but in a way, if he hadn't done that, the dollar would have, uh, the confidence would have been uh, further lost, and who knows what might have happened. Uh, right now, they're not on the verge of doing that because uh, the conditions are worse, and if they do that, the economy would weaken so much. So they're going to wait until the market demands that something be done. Do you think we're risking a real crack up boom where I think uh, the worst case scenario, as I've read it, would be all the central bankers in the world panicking and saying, oh, no, today's the day and just dumping their debt. And all of a sudden, trillions and trillions of dollars will be coming back to the United States and all of us will be the last ones holding the bag there. I mean, is that really the kind of danger we're messing with here? It sure is. And right now, though, it's in everybody's interest to keep this game going, you know, whether you're holding dollars or printing dollars. Uh, and well, I'm sure what we do is we agree that if you help prop up our dollar, we're going to help maintain order in the system. So if somebody gets behind, like Greece, we will, behind the scenes, help them out. And certainly if we can uh, uh, help countries like that around the world and bail them out, uh, we'll bail out, uh, you know, uh, states like California and others because, you know, for a state like California to default on payments uh, just wouldn't be tolerated. Uh, but uh, the market is what regulates this, that uh, when it gets absolutely out of control, then there will be dumping no matter how hard they work to hold it together. All right, everybody, that's Dr. Ron Paul. He represents District 14 in uh, on uh, Texas Gulf Coast there, and he represents me in the House of Representatives. Thank you very much. Thank sir, you. Good to be with you, today. Scott. Bye-bye. All right. Uh, also, everybody, go out and get in the Fed, and most especially the Revolution of Manifesto. That book will change your view.